and welcome to Shady Grove Table Talk. Today we're going to come to you and talk to you about a subject that not a lot of people like to talk about, including myself. I've had trouble in the past with this, as I, I think everybody that's human has. Amen. We're going to talk on the subject of forgiveness. Forgiveness is uh, when you when you give forgiveness, it's a, a weapon in your arsenal. If you'll if you'll forgive as the Father instructs us to. But first, I'd like to introduce you to my family. This is my mother, Sister Nan Ruby White. This is my pastor, Lisa Hayes. This is my friend, Minister Connie Dennis. Hello. And my friend, Minister Donna Jean Holcomb. Hey, guys. <laughs> and I'm Vanessa Williams. So today, as I said, we're going to talk about forgiveness. You know, a lot of times we think, we can't forgive those people. You just don't know what they've done to me. I'm going to tell you something. One day, my husband, we were having a discussion. I, I thought this was funny. If y'all don't, just laugh anyway. <laughs> we, uh, we were talking about forgiveness, and he was, he was mad, and he was talking about somebody. He said, well, I just can't, blah, blah, blah. I said, did they spit in your face? He said, no. I said, did they rip your beard out one by one? He said, no. I said, did they place thorns on your head? He said, no, yeah. and he said, I get it, I get it. Aww. And so later on that day, I was ranting raving. And he looked at me and he <laughs> said, Vanessa, did they pull your beard out? <laughs> it hurts when it comes back out and you doubt it. <laughs> and I said, okay, okay. And so that's something, y'all, yeah, that we that's really good, didn't yeah, use. We were reminding each other, even today, yeah. when one of us gets started on it. Yeah, that's right. When we refuse to forgive, we open the door to the enemy to attack us. Yes. And you know, y'all, in Matthew uh, 6 and 15, it says, But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, yes. neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, I was listening to a minister one day, and I think she was on Sid Roth, and she was talking about walking in forgiveness. And she said the Lord came to her. She had some horrific things happen to her. Mm. That people, I'm not even going to yeah. go into it, but yes. it was terrible. And uh, he said, you haven't forgiven us men. Yeah. And, you know, she said, I haven't. Because she thought she had forgiven. Yeah. And he said, the day that, that people stand before him and they say, but we prophesied in your name. And, and, you know, this was her take on what the Lord was telling her. If y'all find it different, then okay. But I'm just telling you what she shared, and it made sense to me. He said, and, and people say, but I was born again. I did. He said, but you didn't forgive. And you know, the word says, we just read it, that if you don't forgive others, how does the Father forgive you? Right. Yes. Right. It says he won't. Yeah. And so forgiveness is a weapon in your arsenal. That's right. That you can use for your good. Because when you forgive somebody, you're not forgiving them for them. That's right. You're yes. forgiving them for yourself. That's right. Yes. Because you hold yourself in bondage. Yes. It's like I've heard somebody say, y'all y'all correct me if I'm not repeating this right. But it's like drinking, you drinking poison and thinking it's going to hurt someone else. Mm -hmm. That's the way unforgiveness does mm -hmm. you. Because Brother Copeland says it's like a highway. And it's got a stripe down the, the middle of the highway. And here you are on one side in love. And here's unforgiveness on the other. The enemy is standing on the other side waiting for you to weave. Mm -hmm. And get over here on his side so yes. he can attack you. Mm -hmm. yes. Because it says that perfected love casts out all fear. That's well, right. fear has torment. And if you allow yourself to get out of love and walk in fear then the enemy can bring torment. That's, that's, that's exactly right. John Jean, you said you had some things to share on, uh, on forgiveness. Yes. Um, there's a lot of things behind unforgiveness, and one of them is um, it can make you sick. Mm -hmm. Yes. And God designed a remarkable pump and placed it in a man's chest. It is called the heart. There is no machine that works as hard as a human heart. A healthy heart allows you to enjoy life that God has given you. And on the other hand, an unhealthy heart causes disease in our body that brings pain and suffering. Now, an unhealthy heart leads to death. 
the death of dreams and visions, and the purpose that God has put in your spirit, which is also known as your spiritual heart. It is the core of your body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost, when you are born again. And uh, I'm going to read uh, just what uh, unforgiveness causes. Okay. And, and a lot of people don't realize this. Unforgiveness causes anxiety, stress, uh, uneasiness, worry, concern, muscle tension, headaches, neurological and chemical changes, feeling dizzy and faint, brain fog, weak eye vision, nervousness, forgetfulness, panic attacks, weak communication, blood pressure, increased rapid heartbeat, weight gain, weight loss, acne, anger, bitterness, wrath, accidents, self-mutilation, depression, misery, envy, jealousy, hate, pride, resentment, trouble, arguing, complaining, unhappy divisions, disrespect, disobedient, despised, criticized, uncleanliness, miscarriages, and mental attitude, uh, negative thoughts, lack of love, malignancies, infected immune systems, and the list goes on. So that's what kind of, that's what uh, your body does when you're uh, in unforgiveness. Wow. It will it will really uh, wreak havoc on your body. And uh, I wanted to add something to that. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, forgiveness allows us to move on without seeking revenge. It eliminates the negativity and it frees us to live now instead in the now instead of the past. Because when you live in the past, it takes away from your future. Mm -hmm. Every minute in the past takes away. Uh, and I want to finish with this. Um, always remember that forgiveness is a choice. Yes. It's our choice That's right. to do it. Amen. That takes courage and strength. Yes. And it gives you the opportunity to become an overcomer. And it will change the direction of your life. Yes. By forgiveness. That's right. Amen. So yes. that's a choice that we made. Yes, and uh, I would encourage anybody to think on those things and, and turn your life around and uh, and forgive yourself too. Yes. yes. That's part of it. You know, forgiving yourself is a lot a lot of times harder than forgiving someone else. Yeah. Yes. Right. You forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but you know, when you get by yourself and your own thoughts. The enemy will always try to bring mm -hmm. condemnation. That's right. But the word says that there is therefore now no, no condemnation, condemnation. That's right. for those who are in Christ uh, Jesus. That's right. And so we have to, you know, a lot of things, everybody's been through stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody. That's right. And there comes a time in your life that you have to decide who's your Lord. Is Jesus your Lord or is unforgiveness your Lord? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because right. whoever you're surrendering yourself to That's is who's right. going to be Lord over your life. Right. Now, Jesus said, I came to give you life and I came to give it to you more abundantly. Right. But you heard Donna Jean read all the things that unforgiveness brings yeah. to you. Unforgiveness didn't come to give you life and give it to you That's more abundantly. Right. And you know, always the enemy tries to amplify those things. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's right. That somebody's done to you, and you mm -hmm. say, "Well, you just don't know what they've done to me." Mm -hmm. You got to go back to the beard pulling. Yeah, mm -hmm. because that's right. you know, they yeah. didn't do anything to us that they did to Jesus. That's right. that's right. You think about a man, an innocent man, who was convicted and condemned for a crime he did not do. That's right. And he willingly went on the cross. You know, the pastor was talking about. Uh, no one took his life. He gave it. That's mm -hmm. right. And that's what he said. He said, no one takes my life. That's right. I lay it down. Yeah. He said, and I can pick it back up. That's, that's right. right. And, you know, Jesus did all of this so that you wouldn't have to walk in torment and unforgiveness. Amen. You Amen. know, um, I battled fear most of my life. And, you know, fear is uh, false evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. The enemy tries to make things look real to you That's that right. are not real. Amen. And, you know, I always try to remind myself, if it's stupid, if it doesn't make sense, yes. if it's ludicrous sounding in your ears and, and it's not good but mm -hmm. bad, yes. then it's a lie because it's right. from Satan. Right. Right. And it says he's the father of lies. Mm -hmm. All he knows how to do is lie. That's, That's right. right. Amen. And you know, Donna was talking about 
whatever has happened to you is in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, the past is a shadow That's right. of what once was. Yes. We don't live in shadows. That's right. right. We step out of the darkness and into the light. That's right. And so now we live in the present. We live Amen. in Jesus. And if we can put that behind us, and every time he tries to bring those unforgiving thoughts to you, mm -hmm. and I do this daily, y'all. I have people come to my mind daily, and I'll say, that's not my thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only have good thoughts. I only that's have right. good thoughts. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And I won't think on the bad things. Yeah. We'll only remember the good. That's we were right. talking that's about right. in an earlier, uh, in an earlier uh, podcast we did was on Christmas, and we were talking about thinking about now these were good memories from the past mm -hmm. you know if it's not edifying if it's that's not right. lovely that's right we don't think on these things that's right. we only think of things that are good and are not bad yes. i do not want the trumpet to sound and my feet are planted on the ground right. because i couldn't forgive yeah. that's right yeah that's right and you know I wanted to say something too. You know, you may never receive an apology, mm -hmm. that's right. yeah. but you still have to forgive yeah. uh, for you. That's right. And you may never receive that apology, but God can go inside you and He can change your heart where you can forgive even though you never receive an apology. That's good. That's, right. that's good. Mm -hmm. Because that's a good point too. Because a lot of times people have wronged you and they really did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in their mind, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you're sitting around waiting on an apology from somebody that don't think they did anything, yeah. then you're going to be in bondage forever. Yes, you will. The other day, someone came to my mind and I said, no, I will not hold you in bondage. I love you and I forgive you. Amen. And I said it out loud. I was the only one in the room. <laughs> but the enemy heard it. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. That's right. Wow. And that's the way we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know, you've been through hurts. You've been through devastations in your life. Right. But Connie is one of the kindest, Aww. sweetest people yes. that I know. Yes, she is. Isn't she? Mm -hmm. And she never has anything mm -hmm. bad to say about anybody. Not in my presence, anyway. Thank you. Thank you. And see, the only way she could do that, because I happen to know Connie, and I know some things about, you know, she's been through. Yeah. And... And the only way that she could be that person today is that she chooses, That's as Donna right. Jean right. said, she chooses to walk in forgiveness. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's the way we all have to do. Yes. Absolutely. You know, this is not a message to condemn anyone. It's yeah. to free you. That's right. It's that's to right. let you know that, yes. you know, all you got to do is say, no, that's not my thought. That's right. That's right. I'm going to think on the good things. Mm -hmm. What is that scripture, y'all? Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are yes. true. True. Whatever yeah. things are true, whatever things of a good report, yeah. then think on these things. Yeah. That's, that's if right. it's not edifying, if it doesn't lift somebody up, I mean, what good? My husband, we'll get to discussing something from the past, and he'll say, wait a minute, wait, stop. What, what's, what good is this doing? Mm. Well, that's, good. that's good. That's really good. Mm. And I'll say, you're right. You're That's absolutely right. right. We're yeah. not going to talk about this and yes. we'll change the subject. Because see what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to start magnifying That's something right. yes. that has taken place. And you, you know, I'm not saying you didn't have a right to be upset. Yes. That's right. But you you don't have a right to harbor that unforgiveness either. Yes. Jesus died so you could forgive. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, I choose to forgive. I do I, choose, I to, choose forgive. to forgive. Yeah, yeah, and we need to help each other as Christians in our walk. To hold each other accountable right. to what Fred said, right. you know, because it 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 stop makes us stop in our tracks yes, and think does. before we go any further. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got myself, and I say myself because no matter what happened, no matter who was involved, only I could forgive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if it hadn't been for Mother for two years. She talked to me and talked to me, forgive, 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 forgive. Yeah. And it did take me two years yeah. to walk out of that. It didn't have to. Yeah. But I wouldn't turn loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And when finally she got through to me, or I say Jesus got through to me through her, yes. I 
turned loose and all at once I was free. Yeah. And you know, it's like fighting your way out of a wet paper bag. Right. You know? Yeah. It's that easy if you'll mm -hmm. just do it. That's right. Uh -huh. right. That's right. Well, I hope this has helped somebody today. And has anybody got anything else to add to it? Well, you know, I, I was just thinking about what you just said and what come to my mind, we're not we're not bound by other people's forgiveness. We're bound by our own. Amen. Right. We're bound by our own mm -hmm. unforgiveness. If we don't, right. yes. yes, if we don't forgive. Well, it's just like that preacher that I heard talking about. I mean, it's right here. If you forgive men their trespasses, your mm -hmm. heavenly Father will also forgive mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you forgive not men of their trespasses, mm -hmm. neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. right. That's right there. It's in red, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Uh -oh. yeah. It's in red. It's in red. We got to listen to it. It's serious. <laughs> See, there it is, right there. It's in red. Yep, it's in red. So, what we're just saying today, you know, love yourself, forgive yourself, and lose anything that you're harboring because it's only holding you back. That's right. And, you know, there was another woman I was listening to, and she said, The Lord told her, You've gone as far as you can go in ministry. She said, what do you mean, Lord? He said, you won't forgive. Mm -hmm. wow. He said, I can't use you because you won't forgive. Mm -hmm. And she said, but they did this and they did that. Yeah. He said, it's you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's They right. won't forgive. That's, that's yeah. right. That's what she was bound by. Well, yeah. And he'll deal with them. Yeah. Right. right. Mm -hmm. You got to let him deal with them and you got to deal with you. Right. With him. And that's what I tell people all the time. They'll say that they did blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but that's them. That has nothing to do with you. That's exactly right. And I have to, I have to look at Vanessa. Yeah. And you know, I have to deal with her. We've all had to look you know? at her. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, I hope today was uplifting and helpful it was great. to you. I enjoyed hearing Donna Jean, what the Lord yes, showed that you good. on that. Amen. Oh. There was a lot of things you listed I didn't know. Yeah. And the list goes on. There's more. Wow. Um, that Connie said something about they were bound by unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Well, being bound, that's a yoke around yeah. your neck. Yeah. yeah. That's right. It carries it, it burdens you down. It's a yoke. Yeah. Yes, it is. That's right. And you know, you said it brings brain fog. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You can't think clearly. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't think clearly That's because right. you're walking in unforgiveness. That's right. And yes. Jesus said, take my yoke. Yes. Ooh. There you yes. go. He said, it's light. It's easy. Yes. yes. It's easy. easy. Yeah. So if you're bound down and it's heavy, that's not good that's right that's, that's right that's, that that's a key that you're walking in that, that's, right. You know? that's right that's right because a lot of times and and i still have to do this too i'll think i've forgiven people and then i can hear somebody's name y'all ever do that yeah. mm -hmm. no not at all. And you hear somebody's name and all at once you're thinking <laughs> you're spewing like that old cat yeah and then i realize and I've even told yes. others this. Wait a minute. You know, I thought yes. I had dealt with this. Yes. And, and then, you know, you have to pray again. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, every time that memory comes back or something like that, you um, you just take it captive. You have to take it yeah. captive. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because it, it's, it'll, it'll try to destroy it. Rise back up. It well, becomes a yes. stronghold. And it does. It really does. Yes. And you know, it's a blessing blocker. Yes. Yes. And you know, you That's think right. about this, once once I let go and I walk through that, I fought my way out of that wet paper bag, then a dream that I had had for six or seven years, we're sitting here doing it right now. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And you know, every time that thought, some thoughts from the past comes back, just, you know, I, I've learned to do this. It, Lord, it's not worth missing heaven. No. It's no. not worth it. No. no. It's not worth it. That's what I'm saying. That's right. And you know, it's just like that young girl when the Lord said, I can't use you. You've gone yeah. as far as you can go mm -hmm. in ministry. But once she forgave, right. guess what she sings on today? Yes. What? Day Star. Day Star. Amen. Wow. Yes. Praise, Praise God. God. That's wonderful. Praise and had she not forgiven, that door may have never opened for her. That's, That's right. right. And it's just like 
you know, I enjoy the Lord allowing us to do what yes. we do. Yes. And had yes. I not walked through that unforgiveness and, and put it aside, you know, put it under the blood, we may not be doing this. That's right. Because right. 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 it was your vision. Yes. Yes, it was something that the Lord had given mm -hmm. me years ago. Mm -hmm. And then we found a church family. Yeah. And, and we got, we were reunited with our family. Yeah. <laughs> you family, know? family. And, and uh, cause we're all family, you yeah. know. And yeah. uh, and I love each and every one of these women at this table with me. We love you, you too. Yes. And I love you. You and mama. Yeah. I know y'all do. Yeah. Ooh, how much we love you. Yeah. And we love y'all too. And you know, when we're not together, we miss it. Yes, That's we right. do. Yeah. We can Yes. <laughs> when we're not together, we can <laughs> But it is an honor to come to you today yes. and, and bring you this word from God. Because you know, I didn't know what we were going to film. And, and Mother asked me, she said, well, what, what, what's our subject tomorrow? I said, Mother, I don't know. And so I woke up and the Lord said, you're going to teach on unforgiveness and forgiveness. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And uh, yes. just so happened, Donna Jean had a note on forgiveness. Yeah, I did. Yeah. She had a lesson on forgiveness with her. And so I knew we were on the right track. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So yeah. today we want to give you the opportunity to join our family. And uh, Pastor, you want to lead us and we'll repeat it? Sure. All right. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you today. I come, come to you today, and I ask you to come into my heart. And I ask you to come into my heart. Save my soul. Save my soul. And help me to forgive others that have hurt me. And help me to forgive others that have hurt me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You're the Lord of my life. You're the Lord of my life. And today. And today. I am saved. I am saved. Amen. 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 And if you pray that today, you have joined the family of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the family. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> and if you don't have a church to go to, where can they go? You can come to Shady Grove Church right here in Mount Olive, Alabama. It's 5535 Shady Grove Road. We would love to see you here. Amen. Yes. And Amen. mother, how do we go out of here? God is in me. God is for me. God is with you. Amen. Amen. Yes. And yes. it don't get no any better than that. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Well, until That's next right. time, you've been with Shady Grove Table Talk. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.